All right, guys. In my last video, I talked about some improvements I've made to my 12-inch product from Omegon. One of these improvements was to add collimation thumb screws, which made the process of collimating my telescope that much easier. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly collimate your Dobsonian telescope and what tools you are going to need to get this job done. So let's get right to it. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian. And if you're new to my channel, I like to talk about astronomy equipment. I like to review eyepieces, telescopes and telescope accessories in order to give you guys a better overview and maybe help you with your purchase decision. So if you're looking for this type of information, then please subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get a notification every time I upload a new video. First, I would like to talk about the tools you will need in order to collimate your telescope. I personally like to use a laser collimator because it's easy to use and offers precise results. It's basically a laser pointer with a target cutout and a barrel size of one and a quarter inch, so it can be inserted into the focuser of your telescope. The light beam comes out here, bounces off the primary and then the secondary mirror, finally landing on the target. This will show how aligned or misaligned your telescope's optical system is. How exactly this works, I will show you a bit later in the video. A nice feature of this collimator is that you can adjust the intensity of the light beam in seven increments. This will allow for collimation even if it's dark outside, without being unbearably bright. A few years back, these laser collimators would have set you back at least a hundred bucks. However, now they have gotten much more affordable. You can get a new one on Amazon for 30 bucks. I'll put a link to the one I got into the description below. Now that we have looked at the tool you will need for collimation, let's see what exactly needs to be done step by step in order to collimate your telescope. The first step is to insert and secure the collimator into the focuser. Make sure it sits tight. Grab it and try to move it a bit to make sure it's really tight. Then turn it on. Next, we need to align the secondary with the primary mirror. For this, we look where the light beam lands on the primary mirror and with help of the three collimating screws on the secondary mirror, we try to direct the beam so that it's centered to the primary mirror. After the light beam is centered on the primary mirror, it's time to align it with the whole optical system. For this, you will need to move over to the other end of your telescope and first locate the fixing screws. On the back of your telescope, you have two sets of screws for the primary mirror, three fixing screws and three collimation screws. The fixing screws help secure the primary mirror position after the collimation. You need to loosen these first, after which you can proceed with the collimation. Next, you need to turn the collimation screws until the light beam hits the target of the collimator right in the center. After aligning the primary mirror, you need to tighten the fixing screws so it stays that way. This will have a very slight impact on the alignment, but it's nothing to worry about. Now move to the front of the telescope and check again if the light beam is still in the center of the primary mirror. If this is the case, then you are done. You have successfully collimated your telescope. Collimating your telescope is essential, and you should do it on a regular basis. Depending on your telescope model, just moving it around or taking it outside is enough to change the alignment of the mirrors. This will have a negative impact on your views, so don't hesitate to collimate your telescope. Okay, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and also subscribe to my channel. If you have questions or feedback, please leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching and catch you guys next time.